Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akatara Timi. I'm a wedding photographer. In this video, I will be talking to you about my approach to a shooting the groom, uh, which is kind of an interesting topic because a lot of people focus on the bride. I feel so bad for the groom sometimes. I do have instances when like um, the event planner sends me a message saying, okay, be at this place at this time for the wedding. And it's the bride's location. And I'm like, okay, fine. What about the groom? It's like, oh yes, that's true. Of oh, course, this is so unfair. So um, I will be discussing with you my approach to a shoot and the groom. I have to confess, I barely ever shoot the groom. Not because I don't want to, but because I'm often with the bride. And that is because the bride is the one that hired me. And yeah, ugh, I don't know. But yes, I'm often with the bride anyway. Um, my assistant shooter is often, often with the groom. I do shoot grooms when I'm on a destination wedding and the budget is for like just one photographer. That way I go shoot the groom first, right? Because I mean, guys don't waste time, like 45 minutes, one hour, they're done. So I shoot the groom's first, the groom and the groomsman first, and then go meet the bride. Uh, but it's the same dynamic still. But anyway, just talking about my process. So um, when I get there, I often start with uh, random things, like maybe shoot the door of the hotel room or the number. I just feel like it's a, it's a better representation of, of how the day started for me. Right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I just prefer it to that, that to just go and start shooting the groom immediately. So I may shoot like the house from outside, or maybe, maybe shoot like the door. So when I shoot the door, I'm trying to shoot like the room number. So we know that everything that happened on this day started from this hotel at room 215. Okay, yeah. So I start with that, and then from there, I go in. Now, it is very, very important to have a personality that is relatable right and this is not just for grooms general i think this is just for human beings you know just have a smiley face i don't mean just going like oh, how you doing? no that's too much but um just look pleasant dress nicely that works yes that way the way you're being sound very cliche the way you're being addressed is with a form of respect okay because you look a certain way that's the society we live in, I guess. So, um, so yeah, dress the part, right? So you, I get there, dress, dress the part, uh, uh, introduce yourself, which is very important. Let them know who you are, that this is not your space. So let them know who you are. Hi, uh, my name is Akitaro. I'm honored that you guys hired me. That is a better way of introducing yourself. And hey, I'm a photographer. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that as well, but I prefer the first one. Hi, uh, I'm honored that you guys chose me to be a photographer. So I will be here. I would not mess up your space. I'll just take a few shots and let you guys do your things. That's fine. Perfect. They're good. Uh, yeah, grab that drink for that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm good, man. Thanks. You sure? No, no, no. I'll, I'll drink the alcohol like maybe like two us there and make kind of these shoots. The ceiling. Okay, okay, makes sense. Just crack one or two jokes in there and you are good right good so um you know it's funny i feel like i'm going to cast men now i'm so sorry but you know how people often think women are the ones that gossip Ugh. it's so much fun shooting guys because the kind of gist you hear in that place is mind-blowing anyway let me just go back to it so i start with the accessories this accessory thing uh, uh, i mean i've shot with people that throw like the shoe up and then shoot it when it's in mid-air I'm like, what in the world is wrong with you people? See, but now I, I, I approach that differently, right? I don't, I don't, I don't say what, what in the world is wrong with you guys, but I, I guess it's just what they know, and it is their style. I've, I'm at a level now where I don't think anyone's process is good or bad. It's just what works for you, right? Good. For me, that doesn't work, and. It took me being in a practical scenario to know that doesn't work. Well, that's for me anyway. And let me explain what that means. Those that spend so much time on shooting accessories, have you ever like delivered these images to the clients and see how quickly they go through the accessory pictures? Like, that's not why they hired you. So there's one time I, 
I delivered images, right, to this client that was in their house. I went to get them the flash drive. And he was like, oh, no, chill, like, just have dinner with us. And while we just watch, uh, look at the images. So he plugged the drive, the USB, to the back of the TV. And we're just looking at the images. And he was just going past the shoes, the perfume, the words, like, what's in my business? I beg, just go past it, right? I'm not saying don't take it. It's good. But I just don't dwell on it okay so i just grab it put it like on a table on a plain table by the window so i can get some light on it on on a, on a couch or something a nice backdrop but that's it but all that hanging hanging air you know just throw it up that's just i don't know man for me it was just too much so i do that and then i start with documenting the day now documenting the day just has to do with you being with your camera, uh, being almost invincible uh, with my 35, which is obviously my uh, my lens for telling the story. And um, I'm also trying to be respectful of that space. So I won't see you like in the shower, right? And then try to take a picture of you or stuff like that, no. Um, um, but it depends on how close I am with you as well, right? So anyway, I, I shoot the friends. It's always good to shoot that. Yeah, I even concentrate more on the friends, to be honest, than the groom. I mean, I shoot the groom, but he really wants to see his friends. Trust me. Guys are not really like, oh my God, check me out. No, no, no. They want to see like those that came around and, and they had fun with. So, uh, and he had fun with, sorry. So, um, I shoot the friends. I shoot whatever is going on with them. I shoot different angles. You know, I layer it. Right, where you have like a foreground, the background, you know, I sequence as well as I'm expecting something to happen. And um, I join in the gist if I am permitted uh, and if I have something to add. But if I have nothing to add, just keep quiet, man, just do your thing. Because it's a thin line between being friendly and just being like nosy, right? Like it's not your business. Good. So after that, what do I do? Um, I when when we're about to leave them start shooting the portraits because they're always wasting time anyway so we <laughs> shoot the portraits uh i look for a, a plain background right i don't like things coming out of anybody's head so i take out like a wall frame if it's there i take out like a lamp i take out like a charger i just clean up the place take like 60 seconds look around for where you want to shoot your couple your sorry the groom and then clean it up Okay, it's better to clean it up in real life and in post-production. Take off everything from the floor, wrap everything, charge out everything, just take it off. So I, I put him there, so I look out for a clean background, also close to the window, because that's where I get light from. I personally like dramatic um, portraits. And when I mean dramatic portraits, I mean like a distinction between shadows and uh, highlights, okay, in my portraits. At the same time, if I don't have that opportunity because of the light in there, then it's fine. I'll take like one with like a flat light, which is like evenly spread light. Uh, but if I can make it dramatic, I will. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I shoot portraits of him in different ways. Just go on. Just, well, I won't say go and learn portraits. I'll probably talk about that later. I will talk about that later, actually, like a whole different video. But for right now, this is what you're watching. Yes, absolutely. Go and just check out how to pose, man. So I, I post the room um um manly poses right uh uh don't have him looking too defensive you know or squeezing the hand like he's about to fight you know um and then it's kind of i mean telling a man to smile ugh, no men now so you start gradually it's funny how i say i know men you know men like i'm not man i am a man as well but i mean you know how we behave so you start gradually right don't just say smile immediately you know um, um, um okay this looks good okay Perfect, just chin up, sir. Yeah, so I use, sir, chief, chairman, you know, it's, it's, it's cautious, right? So, so I just chin up, there you go, exactly. Just a hint of a smile, nothing too serious. Then he was just, all right, that's perfect. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. I bet money one of his guys would, would say something that would make him laugh and then just get that. Or if he's not laughing at all, then go and tell like his friend, like I beg, help me ginger this guy to make him laugh a little bit more so I can get something more, um, you know, nice and not too serious 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 yeah so um after doing that i gathered the friends around for like a group photo um, um post them uh with my surrounding with what i have to work with a lot of people do like the whole um stand here in a straight line which is kind of nice as well but if i have things to work with then i will so i have you like sit stand lean you know take a second look at the picture and then bam 
that's pretty much how I shoot the groom, honestly. And before you know it, I'm done. And um, I have, I really enjoy like, like dressing up time. It's like just so much to do. And it's, it's interesting because you're interacting with new people. I like meeting people, by the way. So you're interacting with new people, you're learning from them, you're learning from you, and you're taking pictures of them and you're getting paid eventually, right? So it is, it is a fun process, but that is my typical approach to shooting the groom. So don't be scared. Um, um, yeah, shooting the groom. I don't know if people are, but don't be scared anyway. Uh, um, and you'll be fine. If it's like a much older groom, you would just, I mean, just use your common sense. Don't do annoying things, right? Uh, be very respectful. I think that's one thing. And then because people don't have an idea of what they look like when you're taking a picture of them, use words to encourage them to let them feel like they're doing the right thing. So if I'm taking a picture of you and I'm just quiet, Okay, thanks. That is like he has no idea what could I do, right? Like say something. Oof. But if you're like, okay, that's good, sir. I love it. Ah, uh, alright. Have you done this before? Nice. I love GQ stuff, man. Good. He feels better. He opens up more to wanting to even take more shots, right? And then sit down, stand up, you know, lean and all whatnot. You can begin to make adjustments as you please. Um, practice with your friend. If you have like a guy friend. Practice with your guy friends. Just tell him, guy, like, just wear a suit. Take him to the window, pose in there, take shots of him, right? And before you know it, you're killing it with the grooms. So um, if you can pally with the grooms, it is very, with, I say grooms, with the groom and the groomsmen, it is very, very important because those guys, they'll give you alcohol at reception. They will defend you. They will feed you. They will be your guys, like, through, 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 right? Like, all the way, man. So, um, is a good thing if you have any questions let me know this would be a very good time to subscribe as well so please do subscribe and tell a friend uh i just i'm at a point in my photography career now where i just feel like i enjoy sharing the knowledge i've been able to amass for all these years so um please subscribe and i'll be giving more videos and yeah just let me know what else i should talk about i guess all right i hope you really learned a lot from this thank you for watching